Alright, it's time to pull this computer out from where it is and actually make it look quite nice. Alright, so first things first, I'm going to have to disassemble this computer. Currently has a big quiet cooler and more HyperX stuff, but that's only DDR3. Has an FX8350. So it's AMD based. It's going to become Intel based, which is great. But to get started with everything, <laughs> it has to first come apart. So I'll update you once I've done that. Alright, so I have put together the computer and it is not really doing well. <laughs> All I can hear is that it's very quiet, so that's one thing, it's quiet enough to for, there we go, focus for me to not worry about the acoustics of the system. However, it's not booting into my boot SSD. I've already done some diagnostics to try and figure out what the problem was. First of all, I tried getting changing the SATA around. That was not the issue. The SATA cable was working fine. The problem was that the power connector mustn't have been connected correctly. So, yeah, I used the same, ended up using the same power connector as the hard drive, which I know was visible. So once I had that visible in the BIOS, so it does launch in the BIOS, which is a good thing. Well, one second, restart the computer. It launches into the BIOS, <laughs> which at first it didn't because one of the RAM sticks was not incorrectly because that was my fault. But that was easily identifiable by a little LED light on the motherboard. Thank God. So, the issue is that it's visible. My boot, Windows 10 boot drive is visible. But, for some reason, he doesn't want to boot from it, no matter what I do. Um, I've tried just dis disabling things and going into advanced mode, go to boot, turn off fast boot. Um, let's go see it. CSM compatibility yeah, compatibility is on which is good secure boot other OS just in case I'll turn it back to Windows Sega as other OS just so it will freaking load and yeah so I turned off Fast boot, which should be good, um, but I just, I even updated the BIOS with a USB. That didn't work. But we'll try this one. If it, that doesn't work, oh, I have an issue. Next thing I'm going to do to try and fix it is grab this USB here, which has a recovery focus has a recovery drive well windows installation on it so hopefully i can go in and repair yeah see it didn't work hopefully i can go in and repair the focus focus repair the windows installation if it is pro problematic uh, so I'll be doing that and seeing if that actually helps let the computer boot because if it doesn't I'm going to be in some kind of strife because that's the only SSD I have and I need that and it has all my stuff on it hmm alright I'll talk to you once I've done all that
in the meantime, I'm going to build the other computer together. And that would be a good thing because it will take my mind off having to come back here and trying to get this to work. Because the other one will most likely work. It won't, trust me. Everything I do does not work first go and this is basically a ode to that. So, I'll see you after that. <laughs>